Pembrokeshire in western Wales is known for its stunning coastline and countryside, but the county is perhaps most famous for its four-legged residents. <laughs> the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. These cute, curious, cattle herding dogs originated here in Pembrokeshire. They're so, they're so lovely, you know. Come on. This couple has been breeding corgis for a decade, including plenty of prize pooches. How many do you have here now? One or two. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> they recently sold one named Vicky to a Canadian near Toronto, now on her way to becoming a champion. And some of Vicky's cousins live in London. This particular breed, called Welsh Corgi Pembrokes, are a little bit smaller than other breeds. And as you might have recognized, they've also enjoyed a lifelong friendship with royalty. Almost everywhere the queen went, her contingent of corgis wasn't far behind. Her first, named Susan, was a present for her 18th birthday. Over six decades, she owned more than 30 of Susan's descendants, a royal doggy dynasty. She just had too many dogs. The Queen's animal psychologist says she had remarkable control over her corgis. But when she left, things could get rough. The dogs were known for nipping at people's ankles and getting into terrible tussles. I did say, Mum, possibly you've got too many dogs. You know? And she said, Dr. Mudford, uh, Philip has been telling me that for years. If I wanted to hear that, I, I wouldn't have paid you to come and help me out. Um, <laughs> so. Eventually, she heeded that advice. At the end, the queen owned just a couple of corgis. They're now living with Prince Andrew. <laughs> Asked how the dogs are doing, William said they're just fine. These Pembrokeshire pups, once considered an endangered breed, are now thriving, thanks in no small part to their famous best friend. But it's hard to imagine this place without them. Jeff Semple, Global News, London.